Welcome. Scott here. Today I am bringing you another Black Clover mobile video. In this video, I will be covering on the upcoming festival mage, Valkyrie Dress Noel. In general, Valkyrie Dress Noel is a harmony attribute type defender mage. Yes. We are getting new attribute types with the introduction of her. Her key roles involve the following. She is a top tier PvP unit when you get her fully maxed out. She provide damage mitigation with her absolute area. To have her absolute area to be applied on the party with her skill too, you need to have her skill page. Absolute area will result the mage to have SP plus 2 buff when they take turns and gain immunity to status ailments like freeze or stun. In general, any mages with SP refill utility are really good. She has a stacking mechanic that grants her the Sea Dragon Spear when she is attacked. However, the stacks will be removed whenever she uses her skill 1 or special. Her attacking skills will get greatly enhanced. Her skill 1 is a single target attack and grants the mage with the highest all attack stats in the party a 40% reduced damage taken buff. Her skill 2 provides the party another 30% reduced damage taken with critical resistance buff for the party along with the absolute area with her skill page. Her special is another single target attack with barrier removal. Her combo attack will grants the partner mage a invulnerability buff. With her passives, she boosts her damage and speed. Before I continue to explain on how her passives work, I would like state that her passive only works if she is the only defender mage in the party. In other words, you cannot pair her with other meta defender mages like Black Asta and Mirioliana. Her LR passive allows her to gain her Sea Dragon Spear stacking mechanic whenever she is attacked by an enemy. You can gain up to the maximum of 4 stacks. The stacks will be removed once she uses her skill 1 or special. When the stacks is at 4, she can remove immortality buff from units. This is very useful to counter arena meta units that have immortality mechanics like Licked, Clover Academy Fuego Leon, Party Costume Charmy, Black Asta in Mono Red Team Comps etc. At LR plus 2, she gains taunt removal at the start of her turn. Noelle's attacks are mainly single target, so it is very important for her. At LR plus 5, on top of the taunt mechanic, she will grant herself a 30% increased mobility buff and increased speed level 1 buff for one turn at the start of the battle. If you give her plus 3 speed stone, she will move first before opposition get their turns. This is important if you plan to use Valkyrie Noel for PvP. If you are fighting an opposition team with similar setup, it will be a coin toss. Similar to past festival units like Mirioliana and Black Asta, Investing in Valkyrie Dress Noel offers the great value for your roster. To function at her maxed efficiency, Noel needs to have her skill page and maxed enhancement levels for her speed buff in PvP. Her skill page allows her to provide absolute area for the party. Being able to consistently gain SP faster via absolute area buff is a premium utility for PvP fights. You have seen how it works with current SP refiller mages like Ceremony Charlotte and Party Mimosa. While the buff is in effect, the party members will get 3 SP per turn. This means you will have a shorter lead time for the party to use their special. With the introduction of Valkyrie Dress Noel, you will see a slight shift away from full mono team comps for PvP. As she provides great offensive utility on her own, her companions that you usually pair her are usually supporter mages, healers, or debuffers. Attacker mages that are dependent on their special like spirit dive you know will greatly benefit with her due to her SP regen mechanics. For skill pages, you will want her skill page for the absolute area application for the party. Without it, she will just become a single target damage tank and lose her SP regen utility and status ailment immunity support for the party. Although she is a defender mage, her optimal gear sets are using attack pieces. Advanced attack. Advanced speed and advanced defense should be your primarily gear sets to be used when building her gear. As she can apply a random taunt on targets, I would highly recommend you to get her the advanced defense piece. 
boosting her attack to be the mage with the highest all attack is important as you will want the 40% reduced damage taken buff to be applied on her whenever she uses her skill 1. So should I pull for her? In my opinion, there isn't a general consensus on whether to pull for a unit. It really depends on whether you are a free to play or having a vast roster already. If your roster is lacking an offensive defender mage like Black Asta or Miriolina, I would highly recommend you to get her. In general, defender mage who can do great damage while fulfilling their defender roles are ultra rare in the game. In PvE, she is good for hit and counter setups but her offensive powers will fall greatly when she is unable to get hit by targets and you probably won't make full use of her mechanics with mobility drain companions like Julius and Lotus. For example, you probably won't be able to use her as the nuker mage to clear Hall of Illusions 85 but she can be deployed for her defense utility. In short, she is a great damage mitigator with SP refill mechanics. For her PvP uses, I will cover in more detail at the end of the video. Now let me proceed to cover an overview on her skills and moveset. Now let me go through her kit. In general, Valkyrie Dress Noel is an offensive defender mage and she hits harder as she gains her Sea Dragon Spear stacks. Before I proceed to talk about her kit, let me briefly explain the fundamentals of building a good team comp. In general, every good team comp needs a balanced set of characters playing their various roles. To be honest, bringing a full team of attacker mages won't get you to clear end game content. Since Valkyrie Dress Noel will be your primarily defender, you can bring other mage type to complete the party. In general, she pairs well with almost any unit except for other defender mages in the game. Being an offensive defender mage, skills upgrade is very important. Even at level 2, you can see exponential increase in the skill damage potencies. To upgrade the skills, you need to use will shards. Will shards can be brought at the world regional shops monthly. If you upgrade your world reputation to level 2, you will unlock the option to buy the highest tier upgrade material. If you haven't done so, I will suggest you to start leveling up the reputation level by doing bond patrol or memory hall fights for that specific world. You can also get skills upgrade materials at your squad shop if you have joined a squad. You can buy them weekly with guild medals or monthly with guild raid coins. So try to level up and join a guild. If you have spending power, you can buy skills enhancement chests at the premium black crystal shop. Now let me go through her skill set. Her skill 1 Sea God Battle Maiden Spear is a single target HP attack and allows her to grant a 40% reduced damage taken buff to the unit with the highest all attack. If you have her Sea Dragon Spear buff active, she will gain a 40% increased damage dealt buff for every stack of that buff. At maximum stacks of 4, she will gain 240% increased damage dealt along with the ability to remove immortality if you meet her conditions for her LR passive. Upon using the attack, she will also remove all stacks of Sea Dragon Spear. Her skill 2 Sea Dragon's Cradle, is an AoE non-attacking ability which grants the party 10% reduced damage taken buff along with increased crit resistance level 2 for 2 turns. If you have her skill page, the reduced damage taken buff will be improved from 10% to 30% along with her important absolute area buff. Absolute Defense will grant the party members a plus 2 SP buff whenever they takes a turn and protects them against status ailment immunity as long as the buff is active. The skill page is important and it is the one that differentiates Noel from other festival units. Her special Sea Dragon's Roar is a single target hard hitting ability. Similar to skill 1, the skill damage will deal more damage based on the number of Sea Dragon's Spear buff present on Noel. For every Sea Dragon Spear buff, Noel will gain a 75% increased damage dealt buff. At the maximum stacks of 4, she will gain 300% increased damage dealt buff along with the ability to remove immortality if you meet the conditions for her LR passive. The attack will also remove any active barrier buff. Upon using the attack, she will also remove all stacks of Sea Dragon Spear. Her combined attack is a single target attacking ability with the partner mage, 
while granting the partner mage with invulnerability buff for one turn. Invulnerability will result the mage from receiving no damage until the buff has lapsed or removed. This is good when having no L partnering your attacker mages which usually have the lowest HP among the party. Generally, her rotation is pretty simple. Start off with skill 2 to apply her absolute area for the party. Wait for enemies to attack and build up her sea dragon spear stacks. Unleash the attack and repeat. Noel isn't really good for rush down strategy where enemies cannot act as she needs to get hit to power up her sea dragon spear stacks. Her skill have very good damage potencies along with harmony favored damage bonus will give her a significant advantage against most mages of the roster. With strong attacking gear, she will most likely one shot a lot of enemies even meta defender mages like Black Asta and Miriolina when you unleash these attacks with full stacks of her sea dragon spear. A fully maxed enhanced Valkyrie dress Noel with her skill page will be your arena mainstay for a foreseeable future. If you have will shards available, I would highly recommend to max out all her skills enhancements. So do make an effort to invest and upgrade her skills damage potencies and you will reap the benefit a lot. Now let's cover on her skill page. Her skill page allows her to have a 50% chance of inflicting taunt for a one turn on a random target. At maximum, Noel can apply taunt up to two targets at most. At max enhancement, you will have a guaranteed chance of inflicting taunt. Unless you are targeting the upper leagues and have big spending power, I won't recommend you to chase too hard for dupes of the skill page. You can end up hurting your resources to pull for the upcoming units. The skill page taunt utility is very useful to help building no LC dragon spear stacks. Similar to most attackers, if you don't have their skill page, you can use skill page that focus on raising their damage potencies or improve their survivability. For skill page replacement, you can use Breath of Darkness to boost her attack while SR Asta or the Moonlight Necklace to boost her defenses. Generally, Valkyrie Noel's real value comes from her absolute area buff which can be activated only if you have her skill page. Without her skill page, she becomes a single target attack specialist. However unlike recent festival mages like Black Asta and Miriolina, you don't need to invest dupes on the skill page to improve her damage output. Triggering taunt is good in assisting her to build her sea dragon spear stacks but it isn't a necessity to have. Now let's cover on her talents. To understand what is the best talent settings, you need to know what is the mage's primary role. Valkyrie Dress Noel is a damage mitigation defender mage with SP refill utility via her skill too. For her attack talent will, I would suggest giving her increased battle frenzy and increased magic attack. Increased magic attack will increase her magic attack stats by 7%. For the other talent, battle frenzy will be the better option since it allows her to gain 2.5% increased critical rate buff that could stack up to 5 times. For the talent craved stone, I would suggest you give her the attack talent stone. When setting teams involving Valkyrie Noel, you will want her to have the highest all attack stats among the party. For the defense talent wheel, I recommend you to go for the endurance defensive talent, which gives her 4% defense and 2% critical resistance, up to 5 times per wave along with increased defense that boost her defense by 20%. For the craved stone, you will want to give her the defense talent craved stone. In the support talent wheel, you will have a wide variety of options like one shown on the screen. Increased damage resistance will result in Noel to improve her damage resistance by 10%. Noel has a chance of taunting and thus locking targets to her. Mage Blessing allows her to have a 20% chance of cool down her skill 2 which could allow her to apply her skill 2. This will help a lot in ensure absolute area is always active on your party. You can also opt for a more reliable swiftness which grants SP plus 1 buff when Valkyrie Dress Noel has less than 2 SP. This will come handy if you want her to use her special more often. I myself will probably pair this with Mage Blessing so she can apply her absolute area buff more frequently. You can also opt to use resolution and increased accuracy and penetration combination to block debuff heavy opposition arena teams. 
Penetration stats is good for handling enemies with high defenses. Whenever your mage attacks, a certain portion of the target's defense is ignored when damage is dealt based on the character's penetration stat. On the other hand, accuracy will helps to boost Noelle's survivability as it allows her to have higher chance of damage reduction activation. Resolution is an arena specific passive or when you are fighting a debuffer type PvE boss. With this passive, the mage will gain debuff immunity for a turn upon resisting damage successfully. If you pair Noel with units that give total defense buff like Fate of Thread Vanessa or Clover Academy Charlotte, you can consider having her using this passive instead. Since you probably will rotate the talents based on the content that you are tackling and she will be your arena mainstay for a foreseeable future, maxing out her talent wheels will be greatly beneficial. Now let's focus on her gear sets. Generally, you want to target for advanced gear sets pieces. Despite she being a defender mage, the general consensus is to give Valkyrie Dress Noel magic attack pieces. Although it really doesn't matter whether you give her attack or magic attack type. It is highly recommended to stick to full set of magic attack since she has higher magic attack base stats. The Omnius gear set is the most important gear sets that you want to equip on Noel since it will boost both her magic attack and attack stats by 7%. Depend on the content you are targeting, you can give her advanced speed set so she moves faster. For PvP, speed is important for her to set up her absolute area for the party. Being able to constantly apply her absolute area buff will aids a lot in protecting your party against status ailments while generating additional SP for faster special ability uses. For the last gear set piece, I would recommend the advanced defense set if your base critical rate and critical damage stats are decent on Valkyrie Noel. If you don't have damage mitigation supporter mages like Fate of Thread Vanessa, Ceremony Charlotte, Swimsuit Gauche or William, the advanced defense set will be better option to boost her survivability. But do make an effort to enchant a lot to boost the gear's critical rate and critical damage. You can refer to the gear set shown on the leftmost side on the screen. If you can buy enchantment stones with black premium crystals, the substats priority is magic attack percent, critical rate percent, critical resistance percent and defense percent. If you are free to play player, I will suggest you to focus on critical rate first followed by magic attack percent. Generally, you will boost your attack over time by transcending attacking gear pieces. So don't stop your gear grinding routine until the gear pieces are maxed. As we are close to over two months since gear transcendence has been introduced, there are players who has sacrificed the third synergy bonus by using three more small attack pieces. The rationale for doing this is that you will gain additional five substats to improve your mage. Seven full transcended gear piece set will give you 35 substats while eight full transcendence gear pieces will give you 40 substats. Lots of players who have spending power are enchanting the substats with magic attack percent or attack percent as the transcended substats so they can boost the magic attack or attack stats to go beyond 40k. Building these type of gear sets requires a lot of yul, gear pieces duplicates, enchantment stones, and substat changing stones. So do your accumulation of the required resources first before you start to building your attacking gear for these setups. Until you get the requirements and have strong substats that I have mentioned, it will still be more beneficial to use the 4 large attack and 3 small attack piece setup with 3 gear synergy boost. Here are some setup notes regard Valkyrie Dress Noel. In general, Valkyrie Dress Noel works with any mages, attacker, debuffer, supporter, and healer mages. The only class of mages that she doesn't work well with are the defender class. Her powerful LR passives will only activate when she is the sole defender mage in the party. Her passives give her taunt immunity, tremendous speed boost and allows her to gain her powerful Sea Dragon Spear stacking mechanic. When her Sea Dragon Spear stacks is active, she will do more damage when she uses her skill 1 or special. The more stacks she has, the more powerful attack will be. If the stacks is at maximum stacks of 4, she will remove any immortality buff that is present on the target. With the introduction of Harmony Attribute Mages, 
they will have a type advantage against all current attributes, power, sense, and technique. In general when attacking an attribute weakness or favored damage, your mage will do more damage to the target. However, Harmony units are weak against Chaos Attribute type mage which we will be seeing them debuting in the future. When setting team comp around Noel, it is important to note that you will want her to have the highest all attack stats among the party. There are a lot of reasons and benefits in doing so. Firstly, some of the debuffer or supporter mages have mechanics or passive that counter the highest all attacker mage for PvP. By having Noel be the target for that, your attacker will be free to run amok on the opposition. Secondly, Noel skill 1 will grant the member with the highest all attack stats a 40% reduced damage taken buff. Being the sole defender of the party, Noel is most likely be the only mage that has taunt mechanics. Thus you will want to have the buff to be applied on her at all times. The longer that Noel survives, the higher chance that you win the PvP fight. For enhancement levels, the recommended level is maximum enhancement or LR plus 5. If you have noticed, all of Noel's attacking skills are mainly single target. If she is locked to a single target she won't do any significant damage. Her LR plus 2 passive will allows her to cleanse any taunt mechanics whenever she takes a turn. In other words, she cannot be taunted. At LR plus 5, she will grant herself a 30% increased mobility buff and an increased speed level 1 buff for one turn at the start of the battle. If you have given her a speed stone, she could even get to move first even before Golden Dawn you know in mono red team comp. Being able to apply her absolute defense buff is crucial since she give the additional damage mitigation buffs along with her awesome absolute defense buff. This will ensure that your party won't easily get one-shotted by the opposition mages. Of course, the gear that you use on your mages will still have a bearing on success for PvP. On the right side of the screen, you can see a sample list of viable PvP team comp to use with her. Ceremony Charlotte is the distinct important mage that most players will use with her. With her barrier buff protection, she can improve Noel's survivability. To have her barrier buff active, Charlotte needs to have her level 2 enhancements or LR plus 2. New players who started during the half anniversary should save some resources and look out for this awesome PvP unit when she arrives. Charlotte also provides good SP refill utility for Noel along with damage mitigation buff for the party with her special. The other two members slots are more flexible. For attacker mage, you can pair her with spirit dive you know. To make the strategy works, it will be a costly investment as usual for most festival mages. You need to have Spirit Dive Yuno's skill page at max enhancement to have plus 3 SP buff activation whenever Yuno attacks a target. Yuno also need his LR plus 2 passive for invulnerability buff activation when he gains Spirit Dive buff. Pairing him with Valkyrie Noel, Spirit Dive Yuno can relentlessly spam his special every turn unless the opposition have SP reduction mechanics thanks to Valkyrie Noel's absolute area SP buff every turn. She can also protect Yuno with her combination attack that allows you to have some leeway while Yuno building up his SP. The new Chaos Mage Black Suit Zara also works well with Noel. As the unit is just released recently, I don't have a lot of information about him. So look out for my future mage build guide if you are interested in him. Due to the requirements, that Noel needs to get hit to build up her Sea Dragon Spear stacks, Julius might not be a good fit for the team comp with her. You can use Party Mimosa for her healing utility and SP Regan if you have her at LR plus 2. She will get massive buff when she gets her level 125 transcendence, which she gains her passive heal to the party when she takes a turn. The options will open more when new level 125 transcendence is released to global. If you have realized by now, a lot of the recommendations involving supporter mages with damage mitigation utility, Ceremony Charlotte, Swimsuit Gauche, Fate of Thread Vanessa, William, and Clover Academy Rill. As Noel needs to get hit to power up her Sea Dragon Spear stacks, you will want to use these mages to buff her attack or supplement the damage mitigation utility. 
swimsuit gauche's value will skyrocket soon with the introduction of the revision to damage over time mechanics like bleed, poison or electrocute. The damage over time instances will apply at diagonal effects when the stacks reaches 3 like full SP drain or HP recovery immunity. As Noel don't have any passive healing so you will need to rely on damage over time immunity to reduce the damage from heavy continuous damage instances team comps like Miriolian offer mono green and party costume Charmy for mono red. It is also worth noting that Grey, a future harmony unit is a very powerful mage for this utility. With more future options opening for Valkyrie dress Noel, she will be a valuable addition to your roster. We will probably soon get the level 125 transcendence soon that allows us to further power up our mages and gain additional passives. I will most probably be releasing the guide for that when the updates come to global. With this, I have come to the end of the guide. If you like the content, please give a like. Hopefully, the video gives you a better insight about Valkyrie Dress Noel. Please do support the channel and subscribe to support me to provide more Black Clover mobile content. Have a nice day. Bye.